Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who have joined, um, welcome. My name's Jo and I mainly do irregular choice shoes and handbags, um, but I do other brands as well. Um, so you're very welcome here. Um, for those of you that have been watching my videos for a long time, I very much appreciate you watching my videos and taking the time out of your busy days. And for those of you that are just lurking about, I would really appreciate you pressing that subscribe button and joining our happy merry band. Um, might be a little bit of a controversial one this week. Anyway, what's been happening? Well, my lovely daughter, she has two lovely friends, um, Emma and Chloe, and they're a real, you know, when they say two's company, three's a crowd, well, these, no, three, they do everything together. And they go to a, one particular, it's like a pub really that's got a dance floor, probably bigger than a pub really, but it has a dance floor. And they go there literally every Friday, every Saturday, and, you know, always have a good time. Anyway, they decided they were going to invite us mums, so I was up for it. Not that I think, you know, I don't think... I would want to go clubbing every week with my daughter. I think that's a bit ick, um, you know, because it's their time and their time, you know, nah. Um, but this one-off was so nice that they invited us and Freya was, like, introducing me to everyone, you know, and it, it I had a really good time. I thought, well, we'll leave about midnight. Well, me and Chloe's mum... I think we left about half past two um but we had a really good night um i have to say the atmosphere in um freddy's was lovely um you know because i hate to say it but sometimes you go in clubs and especially girls can be a bit you know judgmental and you know so i was kind of expecting a bit that i had a headpiece on with a flamingo and a disco ball so you know you i'm not exactly incognito but I had lots of girls coming up saying they loved what I was wearing and, you know, came up chatting and, you know, people that Freya didn't know. But, you know, and I danced with quite a few girls, guys. Um, in fact, Freya was telling me one of the guys I danced with came later looking for me for another dance, which was funny. Um, but we had a really good night dancing and just... Yeah, it was really good. I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, and also, I heard my name being called. And it was a lad, Jamie, who used to work with in Tesco um, when he was 16. And then he'd worked there a few years and then immigrated to Australia. So it was lovely to see Jamie again. Um, we had a nice little chat. Obviously, it's a bit difficult. You know, it's quite loud, but we managed... Um, but I think we're going to meet for a coffee and catch up um, and it'd be nice to speak to him. And yeah, I had a really good night with my daughter. Um, I wouldn't make a habit of it because, as I say, that's her thing. You know, maybe once a year, maybe, if she invites us again. Um, but um, yeah, we had a good night. Um, so what I forgot to show you this time, no irregular choice. Um... I need to go into that a bit because obviously I've not bought a regular choice for quite a while now. Nothing has floated my boat. Now, I still love what I've got on my collection. I still love it. Um, but there's nothing that's come up recently that I've thought I must have that in my collection. And we had the My Little Pony release and I was really hoping for a My Little Pony character heel. Um, that didn't happen. They put like a little plastic toy of, sorry, I don't know the, the ponies' names, in like the snow globe heel that we've had before. Um, nothing really floated my boat. There was one pair that, um, I think it's called 
best in show and it had like ribbon rosettes like first and you know da, 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 da. and little ribbons at the side all in different colours and it had little embroidered patches of My Little Pony on the sides of the shoes um, and they were adorable and I could definitely, in fact they'd go with this dress, um, I would definitely be able to style them with some of my clothes that I already have. Um, but the price point was £150 and I think I'll wait till they go in the sale. So that tells me that I don't want them, you know, like before you just, oh my God, I don't care. I need those shoes. Um, now I understand that obviously materials have gone up and to, to make a new concept shoe must be quite difficult because not only has it got to look like the character, it obviously has to stand up to being a shoe. Um, so whether the cost now has gone through the roof and they would have to pass that on and make the shoes over £300 because some of them are getting right at the tip of £300 now um, I don't know, I don't know whether that's the reason um, but I think you get the licence to do something and then it's just very meh now if you were excited by any of the shoes i don't want to take that away from you if something really gladdens your heart and you want to buy those shoes then that's you know why you buy them because they they make you feel good um i'm just saying personally there was nothing for me nothing that excited me um nothing to make me want to part with money i'll hope they go in the sale eventually and i'll maybe pick them up in the sale um I'm just being honest that for me there wasn't anything that I really fancied out of that collection um, and I was hoping for a character heel um, so does that mean I'll never buy a regular choice again <clears throat> I don't know the answer is I don't know I'll have to see what what they have coming up and you know, I think everybody is being quite careful with where they spend the money. Um, so I, ca I can't even answer that. Um, I hope so. I hope they have something exciting in the pipeline. But, um, yeah. Who knows? But I do understand that a lot of people joined uh, this page because I do irregular choice shoes. And... I totally understand that and now I'm showing mainly other things um, but I do hope to get back to a regular choice and if they have a sale I'll probably pick up some shoes in the sale um, but I just haven't got the feels so anyway what have I got for you today um, I've got a bag and I've got a pair of sandals for my holidays Woo! yeah I'm going away again a few more weeks though yet but Anyway, let's see what I've got in the bag. And it's a, you've been seeing the little deer here. Um, it's a Wicker Darling bag from Australia. Oh, how cute. Look at his tongue. It's got this tongue there, a little heart shaped. Um, she's got a little heart shaped nose. Now, Jasmine from Wicker Darling names the bags. Sometimes I keep the names, sometimes I change the names. She called, she was saying he was a boy and he was called Cornelius. But as he's a corgi, I have renamed her Lizzie. Um, and I just think she's gorgeous. Look at her, her little stubby legs. She's got leather handles. Um, she does have a crossbody, which I'll never use, but I guess it's good to have. I absolutely adore the inside. It's like pink gingham. And there's quite a lot of room in there. So there you can get everything you want in there. Um, now, I took 
calling the crocodile to London and oh my god people were wanting pictures with him you know people just react when you're carrying a bag like this they just love it so I think Lizzie will definitely turn heads when I have her out now I've got a couple of others in the pipeline um so one is like a frilled lizard and hopefully that's available in the next couple of months and i think somebody i don't know what it's going to be called but somebody in the comments when they were chatting about it called it frillip and i thought i'm definitely gonna call it frillip so i'm not really caring what she calls it mine's going to be called frillip um and then i've got larry the lobster coming but that won't be till january february i think um and she's called it larry and i quite like larry the lobster so i'll probably keep that but how adorable is this bag that is fun <laughs> so yeah wicker darling in australia but fuchsia pinks um are stocking more and more wicker darling bags in this country so um it means that if she stocks them, I don't have to pay um, customs, which saves you 60, 70 pounds every time they come over. So that is definitely going to save me a lot of money. So look out for Fuchsia Pinks because she is carrying more and more uh, Wicker Darling bags. And um, yeah, you can if you live in the UK, you can save yourself quite a bit of money on customs so that's been brilliant for me and that's cat if you know cat from the irregular um thinking videos um then that's who's behind fuchsia pinks they have lovely hair clips if i had more hair in fact she's got a ghost one coming out in um in um well it's coming out in the next few months i think um for halloween and the acrylic is just gorgeous and i'm like i'm tempted just to get that just anyway i mean i've not really got much hair to put in a clip but it's worth it just because it's so beautiful but anyway let's go on to the sandals because it's time's bobbing on and i know you're all busy um so i got in the sale kate spade um and i saw these and i thought oh these would be perfect for my holidays. They always come with a dust bag, which I put the shoes in um, for travelling. That's really handy. And they're just these. They're called Zesty. And I couldn't understand why they're called Zesty, because they're quite zesty colours. And it's these. I'll just take the tissue out. It's just these. They've got, like, three straps in pink. But it's like the fuchsia pink, a pale pink, and then an orange. And I thought when I originally got them that these were separate, but they're not. And they're, they're lined in leather underneath. So they are so comfortable, so nice on the foot, which obviously you're going to be having bare feet in these. So you want something that's going to, you know, not rub on you and, and hurt you. So there's that. Now, this is just an elasticated like band and i have to say they're a bit fiddly to get your foot through um you know but they you know they're comfortable but they're just fiddly um and i i'm glad it's got that because otherwise it'd be a mule and i'm not keen on mules because i find that your foot can slip off them and but this makes your foot feel so secure so even though and it's just got an orange band across your foot but yeah getting in it fiddly but worth it and look at the heel it's like how do i show it because it's like pink acrylic and it's got these lovely lovely um crystals making it look like a a, a melon i think um and it's the same on the other side you've got crystals on the other side and just an interesting heel and it's low so going to be comf comfy but just that little bit different um which is what i like because i just like yeah in the front you're like yeah normal sandal 
from the side you're just thinking oh yeah that's just got a little bit of difference um and i like kate spade's shoes she always uses really good quality crystals i have a pair of red crystal shoes and i did wonder about those because um i've got like a pizza slice bag that's covered in crystals and all those crystals have stayed on which is fantastic um and good quality crystals um but when i got the shoes i thought mm, i wonder how these will stand up because obviously on shoes you you're moving aren't you it's not like a bag um but they've really stood up and the crystals have stayed on and i've worn them to death um so i'm really impressed with um the crystals she uses and the fact that they stay on i mean these are in set so i think these will be quite safe anyway um so i just think they're perfect little summer sandal and that you're going to be comfy in and these are just going to give you that little bit of sparkle and a little bit of interest and i absolutely love them so that's it for this um week um i'll be doing the walking video probably take me half an hour to get those shoes on but no not quite but, but i will and i'll show you them on the feet i hate showing my feet on camera but obviously if it's sandals i've not got much choice so see you in a couple of weeks guys stay don't follow the crowd because stay regular don't follow the crowd because it's so boring and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. guys and i'll see you in a few weeks and uh, hope everything's good with all of you guys see you soon bye